good day everyone welcome back to crown geek so in this video i will be explaining that how to clean your c drive and make your pc run faster and free up much disk space on your computer so i will be sharing few effective solutions few effective steps that you need to apply and after that you will find a great change and a lot of storage will be free on your computer but before starting it's really recommended that you can create a restore point so that in future if you feel that by accidentally deleted some file then you can revert the action so for that you need to click on your windows search type sys sysdm.cpl hit the enter key the system properties will be up now here from the top menu option you have to click on system protection and then at the bottom you will find the create option so click on create and now here you have to give a restore point name so this can be anything that can help you to identify that for what purpose and when exactly you created this restore point so this can be any kind of name this can be date so give whatever you want to and then click on create and then it will take few seconds and once the restore point has been created let me show you my c drive it's around 31.0 gb free of 476 gb and it has been turned red all right so what are the best possible ways to clean this and make our pc performance better so first we will be starting with a windows disk cleanup tool so click on your windows search type disk in the suggestion you will be getting disk cleanup so click on it now this will be calculating the space and this will show you that what kind of categories have occupied the space now here you will see all kind of your download program file temporary internet file then delivery optimization file the recycle bin the temporary file now the recycle bin if you don't need the item that has been deleted and move to the recycle bin then you can check this option over here all right rest you can check all the options here then you have to click on cleanup system file now this will be calculating and deleting the space so once it's been done you have to click on ok click on delete files next we also need to delete the previous installation folder of the windows update or windows operating system so for that you need to open your file explorer then click on local disk c and here you have to look for the windows folder so just scroll down you will find the windows folder double click on it and then here you have to look for software distribution so look for it once you get it double click on it and now here you have to delete all the file all the folder inside software distribution so you can press ctrl a to select all and then press shift and delete key to delete all these files then click on continue and now you can close it now i also recommend you that you can go ahead and delete the temp percent temp and the prefetch file so for that right click on your windows icon then click on run type here temp click ok now here you will see a bunch of files so press ctrl a again to select all then press the delete key and click continue same you have to do again right click on the windows icon click on run now this time type percent temp percent again then click on ok again press ctrl a to select all then press the delete key and delete all these items from here then again right click on windows icon click on run now type prefetch p-r-e-f-e-t-c-h then click on ok here again you have to press ctrl a to select all then press the delete key and once it's been done then we will be moving with the next step where we will be managing the storage so right click on your windows icon then you have to click on settings now here in the system you have to look for a storage option click on storage now here you will find the option storage sense now this is very important because it will automatically free up the space delete temporary file and manage locally available cloud content now many people ask me that why my windows 11 or windows 10 c drive goes full automatically so why this goes automatically because there are a bunch and lots of temporary file that is stored on your computer and that is the reason your c drive get full so if you keep this option checked enable this will be automatically deleting those file and your c drive will not be getting full but you have to make some configuration here so you click on it 
make sure that these two options are being checked and enabled now it says run storage sense during low free disk space so it's asking you when you want to run it so from the drop down you can choose either every week every month or during low free disk space so you can choose any of these options and it says delete file in my recycle bin so if you want that recycle bin file should be automatically deleted then you need to choose the date from the drop down like every one day 14 days or 30 days so it's all up to you if you want to be deleted automatically in 14 days then you can go and choose this option then click on run storage sense now once done you have to go back now here you will find an option of temporary file so click on temporary file and this will show you all kind of files that are temporary and what kind of a space are being occupied by them so you can see around 6.5 gigabyte has been occupied by download recycle bin i have already cleared my recycle bin but it should be a lot of storage on your end so you can check both these options if you don't need that downloaded item if you don't need the recycle bin and other option from here as well then finally you have to click on remove file and this will be deleting all these temporary files again go back now you can see here the categories like apps and feature is occupying around 225 gigabyte so you can click on it and now this will show you that what all kind of application is occupying a lot of space so adobe lightroom you can see it's around 1.61 gigabyte and i don't use it so what i can do i can just click on it and choose uninstall similarly you have to look for the other applications here whichever you don't use you don't identify you don't need it go ahead and uninstall it once you are done again go back now you can see other categories as well like in the document so you can see around 58.7 gigabyte more than that 75 gigabyte has been occupied in the document so you can click on document click on view documents and you can see all these folder here so whichever folder you see that you're not using anymore uh, like any kind of game folder any application folder you can just delete it from here next what you will have to do you need to manually look for the file that you're not using anymore in the drive in the folders and you can see from the left hand menu option this quick access like pictures recorded uh, document download so go ahead and just check all the file and delete them manually like in my section you can see i have the video section i have plenty of videos here and if i check the size so you can see it's around 11.9 gigabyte so i don't need it so i will just go ahead and delete it and a lot of storage will be free from here now once you are done just keep in your mind if anybody recommend you that go ahead and compress your c drive to get extra space or a storage then kindly do not do that i really won't recommend you that you should compress that contains the operating system you can go ahead and compress your other drive all right so these are the enough method that will surely help you to get the extra storage and clean your c drive fully without losing any of your important data so that's all guys for today hopefully this video will surely help you to clean your c drive and make your pc run faster and if you found this helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye